Thomas Berry's long life spanned the major events of the 20th century, from the First World War at the time of his birth to significant climate and ecological disruption, from electrical energy to solar energy, from community phone lines to computers, from horse and buggy to placing a man on the moon. He sought throughout his life to make sense of these changes. He was widely read in world history and religions and lived immersed in the narratives of time that were continually expanding from human history to earth history to universe history. Thomas Berry sought a way to be grounded in the great vessel of life, the cosmos, and evoked this with the power of story, which elevated the voices of birdsong and migrations, revered the living forests and ancient mountains, evoked the roaring power of oceans and rivers. There are few people who have grappled for so long to bring forth a healing vision for the Earth community, a term he created to indicate our shared sense of belonging to something greater, humans and nature in continuity. Yet, he intuited at a very early age that something was being lost, something in the depths of the integral functioning of the planet itself with the race to industrialize and modernize. Humans, he felt, are not simply political or economic entities, but bio-cultural beings amidst the vast diversity of life systems and species. He recognized the power of an evolutionary story to engage humans in the great questions. Where have we come from? How do we belong? Why are we here? This led to his signature essay, The New Story, in 1978. A new story of the universe, he felt, could help humans become mutually enhancing participants in a multicultural planetary civilization as cultures came in contact around the globe, often for the first time. Next, with Brian Thomas Swim, he worked for over a decade to write The Universe Story, a grounding for the transformations that he saw were needed for a new period in human history. Today, Barry's perspective adds fresh energy and urgency to what he called the great work, namely, what each person and community can contribute to a flourishing future. As he would say, this work is for the future generations of all species. 